What's up, everybody? I'm Damon Hadfield here with Max Scoville, and we're Howdy. talking about uh, Sony's Tokyo Game Show press conference, which was held late last night for us here on the West Coast of the mm -hmm. United States. Uh, some notable announcements took place last night. Here are the top five that you need to know about. Number one, Square Enix announced a whole new game called Left Alive with some uh, interesting people involved. Yeah, this is very exciting. Uh, the big name that jumps to, jumps to mind is uh, Yoji Shinkawa, who's of course the kind of character mecha designer from the Metal Gear Solid series. Yeah. Uh, he's pretty much Hideo Kojima's kind of like, you know, second in command, really. Uh, and he's going to be doing character designs on this. Yeah. Uh, but then it's also, it's one of the head guys who did uh, the Armored Core games. It's, yeah, it tells me the mechs will be involved. Yeah, it seems pretty likely. And one of the designers they've got uh, worked on, I believe it's Xenosaga? Xenoblade. Xenoblade, yeah. sorry. And uh, then uh, one of the Gundam series, I think it was Double Zero. Yeah, and also Metal Gear. The right, yeah. for Metal Gear. Uh, and then it's being produced by the Final Fantasy brand manager. So all so, these people come together for what Square Enix describes as a survival action shooter. That sounds really Really cool. They gave us a kind of a weird little teaser here where there's just a hallway. It's like a mood piece. And I was cool. like, oh, is this The Shining? There's like a Christmas yeah. tree, and then they just blow up the hallway, and yeah. there's some helicopters. You know, it's uh, this seems pretty exciting. I don't know what a survival action shooter is exactly. That yeah. sounds like kind of a word salad, but it's a new type of video game genre just been invented by Square Enix. I think. Yeah, sounds anyway, exciting though. That's coming to PS4 in 2018. It's called Left Alive. Number two. Monster Hunter World now has a release date, January 26th, a day of kings, they say. Uh, and I'm really excited about that game. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not big on the Monster Hunter series, but this uh, this game definitely has my attention. Uh, yeah. The scale of it seems really impressive. That, that's a series that always has huge monsters yeah, and everything. Yeah, exactly. But I feel like the, the, the sense of, of player scale in this is really like, like you feel like you're really just down in, down in the world. Yeah. And it's, it's got a, a really fun sense of humor too. And yeah. giant monsters. And cats. Monster Hunter World, January 26th. Uh, number three, Final Fantasy IX is available on PlayStation 4 right now. Oh, they stealth released. Wow, would you look at that? They yeah. skipped over eight entirely. Yeah, uh, and this of course has all like the nice kind of like quality of life improvements. Like you can yeah. just skip over random battles and sort of auto level and just yeah. you just want to play it for the story. You can do that. It's the same port that came to PC and uh, uh, mobile earlier this year, I think, or within the la within the past year. Uh, HD cutscenes and character models, trophy support, and high speed mode, and you can also turn off random encounters. Nice. Yeah. In other Final Fantasy news, they announced that Noctis from Final Fantasy 15 will be playable in. Dissidia Final Fantasy NT, the mm -hmm. upcoming Final Fantasy fighting game. And that comes out in January, I believe? That sounds right. Yeah. It's early 2018. That, that, that looks like right. fun. Yeah. A lot of characters just jumping around, doing stuff. Number four, Zone of the Enders, the second runner, is getting remastered with PlayStation VR support. This is very interesting. Yeah. Uh, this is very interesting because it's, it's Konami uh, reapproaching a Hideo Kojima game, which kind of shows that maybe they're not entirely opposed to revisiting some of his, his old mm, stuff. Yeah. Uh, also, the VR support is not just a straight remaster. That's obviously like um, adding some adding some content there. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully, maybe maybe this means we're going to get, uh, I don't know, maybe new Metal Gear games on PS4. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. Well, we, there is Metal Gear Survive. We're not talking about okay. that. All right, not talking about that one. Uh, that's coming spring 2018 in Japan with 4K support, updated sound, and brand new features. Hmm. We are not clear on what exactly those are yet. And number five, that uh, Dragon's Crown Pro version that was uh, leaked last week coming to PlayStation 4 is real. It's actually out January 25th in Japan. Cool. And, and that has that has beautiful 4K support and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Vanillaware is known for their just gorgeous kind of hand-drawn art style, so that's going to look fantastic if you got yeah. a nice TV and a yeah. PS4 Pro. Same developers from uh, Odin Sphere, Muramasa. Yep. Uh, and this is a really slick-looking, side-scrolling, hack-and-slash yeah. fantasy yeah. game. So I cool. think there's there's one bonus thing we didn't talk about, and that's yep. Neko Itsumi Kitty Collector is coming to PlayStation VR. That's so right. if you want to feed cats in your backyard, you can do it with a funny, expensive hat on your head. Yep. Thanks, Max. Those are the uh, top five announcements from Sony's Tokyo Game Show press conference last night. For more on all these games, stay tuned, IGN.